Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at the Lichen Rock into in the, I don't know, what's it called? Midnight form. Just want to say Dusk, but Dusk is, I think, not yet released, but in the Midnight form in the Ultra League Premier Classic Cup. I actually didn't spend a single rec candy. Never mind, I actually spent some rec candies, but only for the power up to Great League, where I already made a video. If you haven't checked that out, it's on my channel. But I actually raided a lot of them just to get the normal candies, so I don't have to spend dry candies and I actually got a shiny from those but I still kind of need to I don't know lucky to it it was like horrible IV so I'm not gonna use it here but yeah we're gonna use this Pokemon right now we're gonna have the Psychic Fangs and the Stone Edge as a moveset which is pretty cool together with Counter which is basically the best possible quick move but Polyrath kind of doesn't really like me I think like this thing kind of wrecks me right now and I don't know if a Trevenant can beat three Pokemon at once might this be a loss for the first game? I don't know. It, it looks it's an S calf. Oh, maybe we still have a chance though. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit tough. He goes for the Mega Horn, which doesn't KO us. He goes into the War Rain there, which we can now KO. And we had like one HP and we can go to the Shadow Ball. Does us KO the S calf? And it does. And Trevenant just gonna save the day in the first game. What a close one. Holy hell. I actually went, I think, on. I don't know. I have to look it up real quick, actually. I definitely went 5 on one set. I don't know how long I actually had my winning streak. Um, but I, I actually went pretty positive with this Pokemon, which I didn't really expect. Not really because of the Pokemon itself. I think it's mainly most likely because of the luck that I have. I actually had a seven game win streak with this team, which is pretty nice. Like, I definitely take this. Um, but yeah, like Charizard is pretty cool. I really enjoy using Charizard and like Trevenant is basically basic bitch matter. So like everybody uses this anyway because it's so strong. Yeah, we can make a mistake. I don't think I should have done what I did there, but I think I can still win this game. Maybe I put him low enough thanks to the Psychic Fangs into the range for two Shadow Balls, I think. Ah, not really. Gonna be close though. He shared the first one. Can I get to the next one? I can. Does this KO him? Does it gonna put him low? It's gonna put him very low. It actually did way more damage than I thought. I would thought think that like Ascalf could take it easier. We see so many Ascalf, which is okay for our backline, but not really good for my lead there. It was actually okay-ish to build a team with the Ascalf and well, the Ascalf, the Lycanroc. I think I'm pretty okay with this team. I think it's pretty decent. The only bigger weakness for this team would be like a Lapras, not even a Lapras lead, a Water type lead that isn't weak to um the counter which is basically only swampert in the current meta i think so yeah like it's very rarely that you're gonna encounter a swampert in the lead and if you encounter a swamp in the lead you can still take a move with the cherry thought unless it's a shadow one i think and you can still do some damage back and it's actually not the worst matchup of course it's not the best matchup either for the cherry thought but you can actually at least tank one move and you're okay-ish. Yeah, it would always save up into the cherry zone there. We see the Surfage coming in here. Surfage is of course a little bit scary with a charge move of Brave Bird. Such a cool save swap in my opinion. Unless the opponent doesn't run like a charm user, you're gonna be able to get a shield back with the Brave Bird anyway, no matter what the opponent brings in. So very cool Pokemon to use here. We get to see the War Ring coming in. We can go for the Seed Bomb. Trevenant still one of the best Pokemon that you can use in the current meta. This War Ring goes for Icicle Spear. I go into my Lycan Rock. I stay in a little bit. Go for the Psychic Fangs, and we're gonna be able to get the Shield. And our cherries are just chunks them away now, thanks to the defense drop there. This is a cool thing. If the opponent is weak to like and rocket in the lead, you can always still like stay in for a little bit, go for the psychic fangs, get the debuff off, and get some damage on with the other Pokemon that are have like pretty decent damage quick move as well. Shadow Claw, especially Wing Attack, is also kind of fine. We have a Grand Ball here. Grand Ball, of course, a Charm user, which is kind of a problem for my lead. But we're gonna be able to go for some Blast Burns here and we are lining our Pokemon. He either has to shield or we're gonna win switch advantage and we're gonna win switch advantage. We see the cherries are coming and we can go into our Lycan Rock. And we're gonna no shield here because it's only a Dragon Claw, which doesn't do that much. And we see the Surfage coming in, 
we can go for the Psychic Fang's gonna put him pretty low. And now we're just gonna farm all the way down. And I was kinda scared that my opponent gets to a Blast Burn with a Cherry Zard now. So what I'm gonna do is here, I'm gonna bait. And this was definitely not the... Oh, never mind. It was a correct play, of course. And we can go for the Shadow Ball. Just to bait it there. And we can KO the Shadow Cherry Zard there. Good game to the opponent. We see a Heracross, a very bad lead here, especially with a Charizard nose pulls and say swap. While our quick move with the wing attack is double super effective and we already put him to half half, we of course have to shield the rock type charge move of the Heracross against us, which is always not the coolest. Incoming the War Rain, which is good that we avoid this with our Trevenant. We can go for some nice Dragon Claws here, which gonna get the first shield. We can get another shield here with that Dragon Claw. Or we gonna get switch image, we get another shield, and it was a CMP type, which is beautiful. As he's gonna undercharge here, which is a very good play, very my opponent. But we're gonna be able to farm all the way down. I'm not gonna shield here, it can't be an earthquake, can it? It can't be. Oh wow. And yeah, this is how it all went down. Because if I just shielded, I would have won this. But because I forgot the about the energy it had already. Yeah, this game is basically over now. And this is always kind of annoying. Like, it always annoys me when I lose games like this, which were definitely winnable. Even if I shield and farm them down, I would have been able to KO the Heracross even with the Psychic Fangs and had stolen move then against the Muck, and I would have been in such a good spot. But I didn't expect him to be an Earthquake, to be honest. But I was wrong. My opponent got there, win the game because of this. Misplay by me happens sometimes as well. I don't think I would have been even that good if I would go to like worlds or whatever, which I cannot do because of COVID reasons, but um, I don't think I would have been even like in that uh, material there, but uh, mainly also because I'm just like not really try hard in good league anymore since it's so bugged. I actually kind of want to go back into try harding a little bit more as soon as we have like the new system life and like less lag and less bugs than before. Maybe we have like some solution for the Q-Time issues. If we all have this, I'm gonna definitely try to get a little bit better and let get a little bit more into the triad area. Even though, of course, like for me, it's complaining on like pretty high standards because like I still get legend easily every season. I don't have problems on, of like winning or like have any issues where I just fall down without like playing on purposely bad or like just forfeiting matches like I'm just always staying up there but it's still like I don't play perfect and I always try to play perfect so this always bothers me if I lose games with that but here our chairs was just very better honestly if you have a blast burn Charizard and you have like I don't know fire spin in the quick move and you have already like you have like seven elite fast years because nobody uses them anyway laying around I can just recommend you Go for a wing attack Charizard for this meta. This meta is just like so suited for this thing. It's it's so good. Like I love it. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. I always like to use Charizard there. And it's it's basically the best meta for it. My opponent catches on the Eska, which really bothers me because my completely my complete backline is very good against Eska. But I mean at least we can farm down now and we have a blast burn stored instead. Which I guess is a good trade-off. Like I think a blast burn is usually more damage, especially because a lot of people are not really prepared for the um, Charizard. And we're just gonna destroy this thing. We're gonna see the Emporion. My opponent was definitely um, prepared for the Charizard, but it doesn't help as we still have our Trevenant. Our Trevenant does not care about a drill pack here. We're gonna be e e easily be able to survive this. Just talking is sometimes a little bit difficult at in the night but um we see the crowbat here crowbat is actually a pretty decent one while your quick move is two times resisted you have a charge move that all hit super effective you can one shot it with one stone edge i think or at least you come close to it so it's a pretty decent um like in general like matchup there here we're gonna be able to perfectly catch the super power on a two hour ghost type oh poor snorlax there the Snorlax matchup is in general pretty pretty decent for the Trevenant. It's like it looks so so bad usually because like normal type you don't do a damage with your charge move or quick move and he does super effective damage to the lick. But also like their charge move does like no damage whatsoever. So it's not that bad. We see the obstacle here, which is usually 
a little bit tricky to be honest but we can go for another seed bump here we got him already very low and we can just go into our charizard and farmer a little bit we're gonna see my opponent going for the night slash doesn't get the boost gets to another night slash doesn't get the boost and he swaps out into the crowbat and at this point i know i can just go for some nice stone edges and i should be fine there should not be anything that really bothers me he goes for a poison thing bait which was a nice bait but we get to the stone edge way too fast for him and we can even like ko this obstacle in there so good game to my opponent nothing we need to worry about there we have toxic rogue against us while like counter is resisted for toxic rogue and like his counter is super effective against me uh, we still have a psychic finger so maybe this comes in clutch later on we see the Lapras here. Against Lapras, it's actually a very neutral matchup. If you have the Ring Attack on the Charizard, because you generate energy pretty fast, it's actually the fastest energy generation move for the Charizard. So we're gonna be able to at least get two shields back here, I think. Yep, and he throws there as well. We should be able to now go into our Lycan Rock, farm him down, get maybe three counters in, and we're gonna get close to the Psychic Fangs, which is really cool as we're gonna put him very low as well we can swap out we see the chariots are coming in we can go for this shadow ball in time this will not kill my opponent but puts him into range where i can count him down and now it's gonna come down all to the wire can we get to another psychic fingers in time can we count him down in time we get the move through he goes to the mud bomb which puts us into deep red and we're gonna swipe with the one hp in a dream going for the no bubble flex there too against my opponent and this is gonna be a good game Good game, trainer. We see the wall rain there coming. I don't know why he really swapped out. I think it's a pretty neutral matchup usually for the wall rain. It's actually not that bad. Just because wall rain has such a big benefit in terms of stats. This Pokemon here, which we use with the Lycan Rock, is a very attack rated. So it doesn't really has, have the same defenses as a wall rain, which makes it always a little bit tough. As Go Battle League it really benefits those very bulky Pokemon. It doesn't really help those Pokemon that. Are hitting very hard which i don't really think is the right thing to be honest i wish it would have been a little bit more balanced and not everybody runs azumarill gfisk and medicham in the great league so yeah i don't know I, I wish it would be a little bit more balanced towards like those more attacking pokemon because the main game series is because you have basically um, like every Pokemon has like some play there like you have like some more unique techniques while here it's just very straightforward compared to the main series games we can go for one shadow ball he doesn't get to the shadow ball himself so we can just go for a seed bomb KO the Swampert and Trevenant again sweeping I mean this was also the same thing which was you saw in the video yesterday with or the Koma O or like for me now like 13 hours prior um, I had a lot of games where I swapped with the Magnezone, but this is totally normal for those teams. You have the this Pokemon specifically as a closer, and the closer is supposed to sweep the Pokemon in the back, or like in the end in general. So it's a totally normal thing that we see like Trevenant a lot of times just three through, same with the Magnezone in the video prior. So yeah. We have the SCAF here, which is always a little bit tricky for us, but here we can go for the Blast Burn, just blasting him away, and we see the Muck coming in. I actually got a shield here because I was so close to get to another Blast Burn. This gonna get either the last shield, okay, or this Muck, we're gonna get the last shield. I'm not sure if this was all the correct plays I made there. I'm just gonna go into my Lycan Rock, he goes for the Dark Pulse, we see the Obstagoon, and now we're gonna lose this game because Obstagoon is just a little bit too strong for us. So yeah, Obstagoon is like a core breaker for the lead in the back Pokemon. Actually, I mean the lead is pretty neutral, so I, I wouldn't even say it's really a core breaker, but of course, our lead was already weakened, while well, we have literally no chance now. Into the next game, we're gonna have the Trevenant again and the Lepras. I bet my opponent gonna have the Warren in the back. It's, it's like such a common team now. You always have like this Trevenant and Double Water team, which of course would lose against something like an Obstagoon or like the Scrafty if you have a no XL Scrafty where you need a 100% Pokemon that just barely gets like to 2300 or something or 2200. I don't know. Not very worth it and not a lot of people have that, so it's pretty safe to play stuff like this. And I expect him to have a oh, war right in the back. Well, what a surprise. 
We're gonna try to go for a little catch there, but I don't think there's anything we can do here, really. He goes for the earthquake. And we just surrender, yeah. There was like nothing, like a, yeah, it was like basic bitch meta theme, like completely nothing you can do, completely hard countered. You you cannot win every game there. We have the Lycan Rock there against now the Alone Mug. The cool thing here, you resist the poison damage from the poison jab, which is really cool. And you can just go for some stone edges and you can do some nice damage. You can shield up the dark poles and you're gonna be fine. Well, so it's the last video, like not the last video, the last battle in this video. We can go for the seed bomb against the swamp hood. Can we already see what he has in the bag? We see the war rain, which should be an okay ish win here for us because we can get to the moose, because we still have our cherries at life, because we've seen Peter here. So it's gonna look like a very easy game to win now. We're just gonna go for the Psychic Fangs and we're just gonna sweep with our Lake and Rock. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you have a great day in general. I see you in the next video. Have a great day and bye.